Greetings YouTube, welcome back to a brand new Apex Legends video where today it is going to be a bit more of a commentary uh, instead of actual gameplay regarding the new Battle Pass update which a lot of people have been raging about on Twitter and uh, rightfully so, but we'll dive into the entire thing here in this video. So let's get right into it. Here we go. We're, evolve we're evolving the Apex Legends Battle Pass to improve your experience and progression goals. A battle Pass is now are available per split so you get two battle passes a season with a smaller time frame to complete interesting players can earn the first premium battle pass for the first free for the first two weeks of the season with challenges what they said in earlier here i think uh, or later uh whatever free track reward let's just get right into the bread and butter here so season 21 950 Apex Coins, one season long battle pass, 110 levels, uh, underused rewards, $10 per battle pass. So no longer are you able to spend Apex Coins on your battle pass. You must spend $10 per pass. You, well, you don't have to buy the battle pass. Let's, let's make that very clear. Uh, so you have to spend, so it's two battle passes a season, 10 bucks per pass. You have to spend 20 bucks each season to get the ba two battle passes bit of a dumb move uh, being forced to spend 10 bucks per pass and not being able to buy them with the coins uh, let's see how they fix that one one battle pass for each split 60 levels each so it is shorter uh revamped rewards but i do think like not even even so not many people got to level 60 and at the end of one split anyway at least not to my knowledge i don't know but i didn't at least um Splits and levels. Starting in Season 22, each split will now have its own 60 level battle pass, with the same cost for each. With the battle pass shortened, more of our community will be able to tackle the track and obtain reactive skins at the end. You'll now earn double the battle pass rewards across the entire season by completing both battle passes, uh, more on that below. And you can continue your progress past level 60 up to level 100 to upgrade your battle pass badge. The impact of this change is twofold. It allows us to align seasonal progression more closely with ranked while also increasing the value of your time. Don't know about that one. Here's a whole diagram. Shockwave is the season name, I guess, right here. Um, free Battle Pass Old was 110 levels. You get 200 coins and seven packs for free. Now, with these two new Battle Passes per split, you get double these rewards. So it's 60 levels per battle pass and you get 200 per pass. So that's 400 coins per pass. I'm sure you can do the math. 14 packs per pass, uh, 14 packs for two passes. One epic character skin, one epic weapon skin, and one epic standing emote, which potentially might not even be for things that you want. Premium battle pass old, 110 levels, 950 apex coins a season. Um, 1300 Apex Coins, 1200 Crafting Materials, 10 Exotic Shards, 14 Packs, 2 Legendary Character Skins, 1 Weapon, 1 Reactive, uh, yeah, 1 Other Reactive, whatever. Premium New, $10 every half season. So, $10 in the beginning, the next half of the season is another 10 for the new Battle Pass. 20 bucks per Battle Pass, per, 20 bucks per season in general is a bit of a, uh, a bit of a, you know, a bit of a controversial thing to do. Um, that for people especially that don't want to spend money on games so 20 bucks to get the battle pass each season which how many battle passes are uh, seasons are there I think it's four seasons a year so you get 20 times uh, 20 times four that's going to go out to 80 I think I think eighty dollars so that's eighty dollars a year on the battle pass if you buy all of them that's a bit much um, yeah, that's a lot. 1300 Apex Coins, 2400 Crafting Materials, 10 Exotic Shards, 17 Apex Packs, 3 Legend Thematic Packs. Double these. Per pass. So, if you buy both passes, you'll get uh, 2600 Coins, you'll get uh, 4800 Crafting Materials, you'll get 20 Exotic Shards for your Qatar if you have it. Uh, you'll get... I don't know what 17 times 2 is. Oh god, that's like 34, I think. Uh, three legend thematic, so six legend thematic packs. You get a lot more packs this season, or per pack. Still, like, still twenty bucks each season, which I don't know if that's. 
I don't know if 20 bucks a season is worth all this, if you know what I mean. I mean, I guess you get all this for 20 bucks, but 20 bucks a season without being able to use your coins to buy the next season is a bit odd. I, I wonder how they'll react to the backlash on that. Premium Plus, nobody bought that anyway. Free track, yeah, 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 yeah. Price. Cost is another aspect that we've been reevaluating. To up the value going forward, each premium tracked battle pass will cost $9 USD, which is I think $15 Canadian, which is where I am. So that's like uh, 30 bucks a season. That sucks. And it will come with the rewards expanded on above. The decision to move from Apex coins to real world, real world currency is not a change that we made lightly. Uh, but it does allow us to decrease the price of the premium plus. No one bought the premium plus anyway, so that's a bit odd. Battle pass comes in at 20 bucks. It came, it was that already, but I think it was like 25 actually, or 30, I don't know. And what happens? And and what happens if you buy the battle pass then unlock it? We've, you'll be refunded to a thousand coins. Unlocking it, you complete it anyway. I don't know what they mean here. Trackers. Before we wrap this up, let's chat trackers. Some of y'all are really passionate about these, especially the designed ones. But there are there were a lot of underutilized trackers bloating the battle pass rewards. It's one of the first things we noticed, and while they're great for gloating, we want you to have a bigger and better, bigger and better rewards. Uh, for your time in game regardless of how much uh time you have to spend in the outlands we'll be removing the b i'll spend more time in the outlands if you give me solos permanently anyway removing we'll be removing the base level trackers from the battle pass while we work on some quality of life upgrades on the side so no longer will you be having your season 21 kills or your season 21 wins for a character no more that's kind of sad that's pretty upsetting Notice we said base level. Fully designed trackers featuring art will still be available in the battle pass. With and with our upcoming revamp, tracker art will become agnostic. So it'll be on every character. So you can have like bloodhound art on Fuse's card. So I wonder but will the I I'm sure the kills will transfer over. So if you have them on say like Bloodhound and you have 500 kills on Bloodhound and so you put those on Revenant and I have 20 some thousand kills on revenant then i think the kills will will let go with it but that's a bit odd certainly is a controversial change to make you do get a bit more bang for your buck i guess with the two halves but the thing for me is if that's 20 bucks per season you have to spend 20 bucks to get two battle passes a season which is a bit of a cheap cash grab if you think about it. I mean, like, come on, twenty bucks per season, especially with Canadian, which is uh, one thousand coins, and if this is ten dollars USD. Uh, Canadian, if we're going based on like one thousand Apex coin costs, that'd be fifteen dollars Canadian, which would be thirty bucks per season. Bot, so having to spend, what's 30 times 4? I'm not very good at math, so I'm going to take up my calculator here. Actually, even better. Uh, editing, Dylan. What is 30 times 4? Yeah, that's right. It's that. That's pretty expensive for having to spend money on, on only battle passes. You do get more rewards, but I still do think that that much per season, 20 bucks per season... And then going along, you can't spend coins to get the other battle passes. So you have to keep spending money to get each battle pass, which is a bit of a stupid move. You do get more bang for your buck, as I've stated. But uh, it's a bit iffy. I wonder how they'll work on that. Let's read here. We've seen the numbers and things need to be more approachable and realistic for our global player community. Something more approachable and realistic would be being able to spend 10 bucks on a on one battle pass per season, 
and being able to buy the next battle passes with the coins you got from that battle pass instead of having to spend your hard-earned cash from your 9 to 5 on uh, 80 bucks a battle uh, 80 bucks on battle passes alone in uh, a year so that's what I have to say on it really I think you do get more bang for your buck but having to spend that much on battle passes in one year is a bit ridiculous do let me know what you think in the comments down below and uh, you know if you don't like it I think that players alike should be you know really vocalizing this so respawn like notice like okay a lot of people don't like this change so maybe they'll revert it back Regardless, do what you want with your money. Um, I know I will probably be getting at least one battle pass a season because that's how I spent 10 bucks on it anyway. So maybe I won't get the second one. Maybe I will. Who knows? But um, with that being said, um, if you did enjoy the video, feel free to subscribe, hit the like button, and uh, you know maybe even the bell. But um, yeah bit of a uh, strange thing going on here with the battle pass overhaul which seem seemingly is unneeded uh but yeah so i will see you guys in the next video goodbye